What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord, and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm really excited for today's video. Well, I'm excited for any type of video that I make on the Anime Warlord channel, to be honest with y'all. Anyways, but I'm really excited for this video in particular. So if you guys have been wondering why I have been gone for so long after I gave you guys the top 10 video of my top 10 video games at Galloping Ghost Arcade, that's because I have my first official ranking in the works. I am going to be ranking all of the Spider-Man movies from worst to best. Now the script is coming along just fine, but, it's what, but what's going to be a major bitch is the editing. So to hold all of you wonderful people over until the ranking comes out, I'm going to be showcasing my Akira training cards that I got from Anime Midwest. Now, you guys may think that these Akira training cards are brand new for 2022, right? Wrong! because these cards were made all the way back in 1994. Say what? I know, right? And since it's 2022, that makes these cards 28 years old. Crazy to think, man. Crazy to think. Because look at how look at how good the condition is, dude. Like that's that's insane. How in the world did this vendor manage to keep them in such good condition over the years? But Either way, I'm glad that she kept them in really great condition. Wherever she stored them, she must have stored them somewhere special. And I got these for a reasonable price, too. I think I got these for, like, about mm, 9 or $10. I can't remember. But either way, she said this is the complete set, and I hope you enjoy. And I said, oh, I will. This big Akira fanboy definitely will. I wish I was wearing my Akira shirt, but I'm not. I'm wearing my Beatles shirt. But either way, it's an Akira video nonetheless. All right, you guys. Enough chitter-chatter. Let's get into these cards. I'm really, really excited. Oh! All right, pop the top. Oh, wow, guys. Wow. Even though these cards were made in 1994, they still have their new card smell. All right. Yeah. Let's take a look at the first couple of cards here. Ah, yes. Neo Tokyo's Untimely Demise. Ooh, the first card, because I see it on the back. The World of Akira. On July 16th, 1988, Tokyo was devastated by the explosion of what was believed to be a new type of bomb. This triggered World War III, and within hours, all major metropolitan areas on Earth were laid to waste. After much hard work, a measure of trust was restored. A peace treaty was agreed upon and <clears throat> the battered nations could begin the monumental task of reconstruction. Ooh, I got chills up my spine, man. I got chills up my spine. Oh, there's the iconic drift. There is the iconic drift. Oh, man. And look at how sparkly it is. Ooh, I love it. 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 Oh, we got some Neo Tokyo shots. How many Neo Tokyo shots do we have here, man? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, we got a lot of Neo Tokyo shots. Okay. Here is the first one where the clown gang was about to wreak havoc. <gasps> Guys, look. The oh, wow. That's an animation cell. What? 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 Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Dude, dude, that's another nice, good shot right over there. Nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there's another beautiful animation cell right over there. That was, I believe, Tetsuo versus K. Yeah, yeah, that is Tetsuo versus K. I'll be damned. I'll be fucking damned. Oh, there's the hospital where uh, Tetsuo was staying at, and there's another animation cell on the back of Tetsuo's mutation. Oh, oh, man. Th this is probably, like, the most iconic shot when it comes to Neo Tokyo's animation at night. Good God, man. Good God! Is there animation cell in the back here? Nope, that's just a, that's just a checklist. Here's another famous shot of Neo Tokyo. And here is the last shot of Neo Tokyo. Wow. You know what would be so cool, you guys? It'll be so cool if uh, the Neo Tokyo cards, especially 
this one and this one and lastly this one they were like those motion cards because remember that big ass spider-man portrait that i got at c2e2 it'll be so cool if like the image moved that will be really really fucking cool so looks like to me that these cards are going to showcase various scenes that were in the anime if you guys do not want to be spoiled by akira do not watch this video click off this video now and watch any of my other videos because i have plenty of nerdy content to choose from but if you guys have seen akira before i hope you all enjoy it all right. Oh, we got some character cards next. How many of these do we have? Ah. So, Akira, there's one. Oh, there's another animation cell in the back. Oh, this is from Tetsuo's Nightmare. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Oh, Tetsuo. Tetsuo is next. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, <gasps> That's his character info. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, yo, I'm I'm seriously about to fucking cry here. I'm about to fucking cry. Holy shit! Mm 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 mm. Oh, uh, Canada, Canada, yeah, that's my boy, Canada, Shotaro, Canada. Ah, there's his character info. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is insanity, guys. This is insanity. And I don't just fake reactions for views. This is, this is all genuine here, baby. This is all genuine, 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 gen, 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 gen. Oh, 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 there's K, there's K. Yeah, <laughs> and there's her character info on the back. This is so cool. These are so cool. Oh, oh, the Colonel, the Colonel. Yeah. Colonel Shimazaki, I think his name was. Yep, I was right. Oh, no, um, Shikishima, not Shimazaki, my bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there's this character info on the book. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never geeked out this much in a video before, I swear. Oh, uh, Kaori. Yep, good old Kaori. Sadly, she doesn't get character info on the back. But she does get this pretty cool animation cell when Tetsuo lost his arm. All oh, the espers, the esper children. Yeah, <laughs> I know all of y'all. Takashi, Masaru, and Kyoko. And there is an animation cell of the colonel. There is the gang, and there's another animation cell, and that's about it when it comes to character cards, and one card fell out. And here is the card that fell out. Here is Akira's resurface, and that's where Kilgo, Takashi, and Masaru, aka the Espers, got a chance to meet him again. Ah, Tetsuo's power awakens. Canada getting ready to save K again. Tetsuo's Nightmare. That scene was trippy as hell. Ah, uh, yes. Exodus from the Underground Fortress. Tetsuo's Mutation. The Accident. Tetsuo's Dream. There's where they misidentified Kaneda for a spy. There's the doctor and the colonel. There's Akira hidden beneath the city. Ah, I remember that scene. That's where the uh, crazy protesters were awaiting the return of Akira. I could just basically picture that scene in my head already. Like, I could just basically see that one dude with the, with the afro... And he was just basically going like, you know, the time of his awakening is night. <laughs> There's a Kyoko's dream. The gang rides off and Tetsuo is gone. The, <clears throat> the galaxy that plays at the end of Akira. Neo Tokyo getting ready to explode or the city screams. Ooh. 
Tetsuo trying to bring Kaneda into the void. There's Tetsuo going into the void. There's where <clears throat> Takashi saw a man die literally in front of him. There's Kaneda and K trying to locate the baby room. There's some of the baby room battle with Tetsuo and the Esper. Oh yeah, I recognize this next scene. Right over here is Tetsuo's power. This is where he was on his way to the baby room. And as you can see, he's just basically wreaking havoc everywhere he goes. Ah, there's where they escaped the underground fortress. Kaneda and K. There's Tetsuo's hallucination. That scene was really, really trippy. Tetsuo beating the shit out of one of the clown gang members. Oh, speaking of that, here's what happened before where they just basically got their revenge on Tetsuo and Kaori. And Tetsuo thought they were going to rape Kaori, but they just basically ripped her shirt off and punched her in the face. That scene was brutal. There's Tetsuo and Kaori running away. There's where they were discovered in the underground fortress. Damn, they spotted us! Ah, ha, ha, ha. The, uh, the bike duel. That scene is awesome. And no matter how many times I watch it, I always get excited. Ah, uh, there's Tetsuo on Kaneda's bike where he was just basically checking out all of the incredible things that it can do. Yamagata's news, basically telling him the clown bastards are herded out on route number five. There's the title text in the beginning. There's the man running away with Takashi. There's all of the uh, sciences and doctors sedating Tetsuo again so they can recapture him and relocate him to do more experimenting on him. The terrorist bomb. There's what Tetsuo was about to run into Takashi. And the accident is within a millisecond away. There's where all of the clown, or excuse me, not the clown gang members, my bad. That's where all of the capsules were arrested by the army. Kiss the ground, hands on your heads. Kaneda and Kay just talking with one another. There's the doctors and sciences or scientists doing a bunch of experiments on Tetsuo. Why can't I talk today? <laughs> there is Kaori and Tetsuo. Ah, Kaneda versus Tetsuo. Such a really good scene. There is Kaneda teaching Tetsuo about cornering. That, that happened in Tetsuo's dream. And here's where Tetsuo's mutation was starting to take form as Akira was starting to become reborn, if you will. The next pile. Oh, I recognize that one. There's where um, Tetsuo's mutation was really starting to take form. That's where um, Tetsuo was crushing the colonel. Kaori approaching Tetsuo's throne. Oh, that's a pretty cool back. Look at that. All right, for the rest of the cards I'm showcasing, I'm not going to talk. I'm just basically going to let the scenes do the talking. <laughs> and if I come across a scene that I find interesting, I will... Oh, yeah, to speaking of interesting scenes, that's where um, Kaneda was bursting out of Tetsuo when he was nearly crushed to death. <clears throat> the final battle, Tetsuo versus Tetsuo, round two. Man, these cards are so cool, you guys. These cards are so fucking cool. I love this. I absolutely love these. Uh, I don't know if they will have them on eBay, because when I got them at Anime Midwest, the vendor did say that these cards are kind of hard to find now. So if you want to find them yourselves, good luck. Ah, yeah, I remember that one. That's where um, Kaneda and Tetsuo were young boys. Neo Tokyo is destroyed. That was a really good heartwarming scene because Kai thought Kaneda was dead and then 
he found out that Kaneda was alive. He just absolutely freaked out. He's just all, oh, Kaneda, you're alive! Aw, <laughs> that scene made me cry right over there because he just realized that he lost his friend. And there's Kay standing over there. There's where Tetsuo escaped from the hospital. That scene was pretty crazy. And he's just like, whoa, what the hell? I can do this too? I can fly? <laughs> oh, man. These are great. I'm so glad that I picked these up, you guys. I'm so glad that I picked these up, man. Uh, there's where um, Tetsuo was in the Harukiyo bar, and he was just holding some capsules and said, look who's here. You guys want to pop one? All right, y'all, last pile. Ah, uh, yeah, that's where um, Kaneda and Kay were in, like, I think they were in prison, I think. I don't know. Oh, there's where, um, uh, there's where Kai was just basically telling Kaneda the news about Yamagata's fate. Oof. Mm-mm-mm. Kyoko explains how powerful Tetsuo is. Mr. Nezu's heart attack. From the flames. That's that's a really cool shot right there. Ah, yes. That's where um, Tetsuo was fighting off the army. And um, that's where all of the protesters were like, what, wait, wait, he's Akira? Because like they saw the psychic powers come from Tetsuo and they actually thought it was him. They said, hey, look it's lord akira <laughs> oh there's where um kaori was just basically just going wait a minute huh that that's that's my boyfriend there oh yep there, there's the afro dude that i was talking about right over there oh yeah there's the uh, infamous bridge scene something strange in the pattern that right there was a really cool shot of the animation. Really pretty. There's Tetsuo versus K. Almost looks like a battle out of the DBZ, though. <laughs> There's um, Tetsuo meeting Akita for the first time because all of his remains are just there. What is this? A science classroom? And so now you're a boss too on this pile of rubble. <laughs> mm hmm. Kaneda versus Tetsuo. Oh, that's an epic shot. There's Kay emerging after being defeated by Tetsuo. There's where Tetsuo lost his arm. Tetsuo in space. And this last card right over here closes the collection of the blue light that took Tetsuo's arm away. Ooh, okay, guys. All right, I am completely happy with these. These were amazing. Now, the reason why I didn't talk throughout the rest of the video and let the cards do the talking, it's because I honestly didn't want to make it too, too long. But still, though, these cards were absolutely amazing. If you guys can find yourselves this collection of cards online, good luck. Like I said, these cards were made in 94, so they will probably be really hard to find. Oh, man, I am so happy that I picked these up at Anime Midwest. What a really, really lucky find. All right, you guys, so that just about wraps things up for today's video. If you guys like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have anything to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos when they come out. You guys already know who I am. I'm Anime Warlord. Stay nerdy, stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace out.